ngo twakwakira ikindi bitekerezo arakoze cyane Can you hear me now? Okay, there we go. I've been asked to make some remarks. I'm uh, Colonel Retired Rick Ward, a longtime friend of Rwanda. Uh, first and foremost, what I want to say, Rwanda's success is attributed to the vision of the Rwanda Patriotic Front. Prior to me going to uh, Rwanda in October 1994 to support the Abishay to reestablish the U.S. Embassy, my good friend Charles Moragandi had given me the RPF program. Unlike many liberation organizations, both globally, Rwanda actually accomplished the Rwanda Patriotic Front vision. It's about a 30 page document. That's the testament. There was a blueprint. And then, coupled with that, was leadership. What I'm going to talk about is the greatness of the Rwandan military. Because, first and foremost, it was the Rwandan Patriotic Army that stopped the genocide in 1994. Secondly, almost immediately, they integrated. I went to Gako in 1994 and I met the former uh, Force Army Rwandans uh, that were integrated. But more importantly, during the Second Congo War, the Rwandans needed fighters. And so, what, what happened is the majority of the people would come out of the refugee camps. There was a registry, and they integrated Force Army Rwandais. Let me just share an anecdote. There was an officer who was wounded outside of Kalemne, and in his army, the FAR, if you were from Bayumbo or you were from Kassini or Ruangiri, there was a hierarchy. He thought, okay, I'm a Hutu. Tutsi soldier's not going to rescue me. Well, guess what? They were all RPA, and he wound up going back to the hospital in Rwanda. That's the testament to the greatness of the As a military professional, I would rate the Rwanda Democrat, our Patriot, our Defense Force, RDF, as the greatest military in sub Saharan Africa. Why do I say this? Previously, I would have rated the Ethiopian National Defense Force, but because of the civil war in Ethiopia, they no longer hold that status. But if you look at the accomplishments of the RDF, first and foremost, the peace treaty, fourth in the world. President Kagame told all his troops going to Darfur, we are not going to allow human rights abuses. We're going there to enforce the peace because we are the victims of a failed UN mission, Unimir. And it was not Blair's fault. It came out of New York, and I know that for a fact because I was a major at the Pentagon working this. Belair asked for intervention. He was denied time and time again. Just really short. Lastly, as uh, the minister indicated, Rwanda has bilateral relations. They instilled peace in Mozambique. Sadek is leaving, and it looks like Rwanda's probably going to have to send another 2,000 troops. The people in northern Mozambique rever the Rwandan police and the Rwandan military over their own security forces. That's a testament. And lastly, in the Central African Republic, they serve as a counterweight. Everybody has heard of Wagner, which are predatory. The solution to the CAR, this is coming from a good Rwandan brother of mine, who remains unnamed, but the United States government needs to get behind the Rwandans to train the security force of CAR, and then we make Wagner go relevant. And I'll leave it at that. I think there is not much to say 